idioms root hog or die poor meaning is a expression used in the southern USA that means that you must look out for yourself as no one's going to do it for you it can be shortened to root hog a hog is a pig but this is how they treat us this is how they treat human beings Wow. This is what was on my spirit to get. And while I was trying to get it, you know, I was compelled to record. Um, I was compelled to pick up my phone and record, bro. This is what I do on a daily basis, flow by way of the spirit, you know. I never really know what I'm going to do from day to day. I mean, I might have it in my mind what I want to do. Like, I, you know, I told you I was going to work on that video. But because I needed this, it was in my mind to get it. It was upon my spirit um, to get this root hog or die because of what I'm bringing out next. You know, I need... I need some of the things that this brother was bringing out. And I heard it last night as I was... Um, listening so um i was led to go ahead and give a listen to this again and get what i needed This is the attitude, bro. Found it. My my, com my computer went out. But okay. I had a lot. Probably thirty minutes. I, okay. I thought I had it plugged. I, I'll it read it to you. Root hog or die is a common American catchphrase dating to the early eighteen hundreds, coming from the early colonial practice of turning pigs loose in the woods to fend for themselves. The term is an idiomatic expression for self-reliance. They use this for the slaves when they got rid of them. Root, hog, or die. When you spell that root, are you saying hog? Oh, okay. It's like when they go out there and you see a hog doing his face in the ground trying to get something to eat, whether it's some kind of root. But I, but I, Okay, but is it spelled R-O-O-T? It is. Okay. Yep. Well, it's a dogmatic expression yeah. for self-reliance. Meaning, okay. it's an idiom. It's an expression used in the southern USA that means you must look out for yourself and no one's going to do it for you. It can be short, shortened to root hog. A hog is a pig. That's what they did when they got rid of us. Where the Most High said, you let a slave go, you don't let him go empty-handed. That Field Order 15 said we were supposed to get something. And the see, that what we were supposed it, to said, get, no. what we were supposed to get, they gave it to another people that were not us, okay? So those that got casinos and crap like that on this land over here, see, that they were supposed to give that land to us, but they didn't give that land to us. They gave that land to people that pay $5 to become us, okay? And the other foreigners that were on this land, okay? They didn't give us shit. All right, we've been 
just tossed out and not given anything okay and ever since we've been looked at as the scum of the freaking earth and told to root hog or die poor we built, we built us up. We want to send you back to Africa during the American Colonization Society. It's not working. And the people in the South don't want us to send you back to Africa because we need to make y'all do the cotton and the rice. So Lincoln got a problem. And because we didn't come from Africa, we were right here. This was our land. They didn't bring us on slave ships from Africa. No, they were taking some of us from here and placing us in Africa. They told it in reverse. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay on here, bro. Like I said, um, hold on. Let us be the perpetual victim. Let us be the perpetual slave. And I'm telling you now, after listening to Russell Lombard and number one for 30 years, that black people want to be the perpetual victim. We are the perpetual victim, and you all are the perpetual oppressors, and God will judge, and he's going to damn a lot of people. And I hope, I hope I get to see some of them. Oh, my God, bro. See, see I don't, I don't, I don't want to see nobody's destruction, okay? And the Most High is just going to allow everybody to reap the things that they have sown okay and there's about to be a paradigm shift because everything has been upside down and backwards okay the holy wicked have got to live high on a hog okay the holy wicked the most abhorrent people you know that's done the most heinous things upon the face of the earth has waxed rich and wealthy okay well the righteous are in utter poverty okay well we're in a pair is about to right itself okay so the extremely wealthy is about to become impoverished they're about to become extremely impoverished and the extremely impoverished is about to become extremely wealthy okay it's about to be a paradigm shift Some of you, the Japhetite, Gentile, Eurocentric, Caucasian, since my last message have shown your displeasure in the image I have brought forth of you and your fathers. The image alluding to the destruction that is awaiting you in the near future. Not knowing a man, I can only measure him by his deeds and the effect of his presence on any environment he comes in contact with and what is left behind when he leaves. The Lord's law of rhythm teaches us, the student, that in a time of blessing or sunlight, when a man or woman is living deliciously on the upswing, be sure to put something away for the rainy, thunderous days of the backswing not far behind. When you were living in your blessing, how was your mercy and charity towards your neighbors, your brothers and sisters? Did you love them as you loved yourselves? Did you do unto them as you would have them do unto you? If your answer to the two questions is yes, then you have no worry at all. But if the answer is no, take heed to my message. Now look at the history of your fathers. Do you think the karmic loop stops at your feet? We the seed of our fathers paid for their transgressions of law, but you ignorantly seem to think universal law escapes you. We all have to attest for our sins and the sins of our fathers. In the end, we all face the right arm of justice when we deviate from the laws of the Most High God. Not the wicked, corrupted justice system you created today and call law, but the right arm of justice, Gebura, the office of Sabaoth, vengeance, Thoth, the Lord of Sabaoth. Apocalypse of Abraham 17 and 13. I am called according to my deeds. When I wage war against the wicked, I am called Sabaoth. Sabaoth, the energy or the essence of the Lord when justice or vengeance is delivered. The essence that manifests or is transferred into a physical emissary, a servant on this planet, in this case a nation or nations, that will do the will of justice. In this case, Gog and Magog are the ones chosen in the time of Exodus. Sabaoth, Romans 9 and 29, as Elijah said before, 
except the Lord of Sabaoth had left us a seed, we had been as Sodoma and had been made like unto Gomorrah. If the destruction of the Lord of Sabaoth did not leave a seed, everything and everyone would have been destroyed like Sodom and Gomorrah. This is the judgment awaiting America and the Gentile. Sabaoth, the Lord thoth Melchizedek when he wages war against the wicked. James 5 and 4. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of Lord of Sabaoth. Who has been controlling the employment, the economy, and does all the hiring and firing at the highest levels? The Gentiles. Who reaps from all the resources of the land? The Gentiles. Who committed religious fraud, giving the people a false white Jesus? The Gentiles. Who has committed social fraud, having Jacob, the people of color, living in housing projects on their own land? The Gentiles. Who has passed laws to allow police officers to murder Jacob without a consequence? The Gentiles. Who has stripped Jacob of all his rights to freely use all the resources of his own land, preventing him from obtaining his economic independence? The Gentile. Who gave Jacob the throwaways of the refused food to eat at a detriment to his health, giving him diabetes, high blood pressure, because he is no longer in control of the production of his own food? And to make sure he stays off balance, you lace every square block in his neighborhood or housing project with a liquor store. Who released the drugs in the neighborhood? Those of us who live in those neighborhoods, we know there is a connect to a connect to a connect. And the main connect is never the face of a Negro. And we all know most of them in the projects or the inner cities didn't have passports to be able to leave the country and bring in these drugs in the 80s and 90s. I'll take it a little further. Many people of color at that point in time never even left the state in which they were born. So who's bringing in the guns and the drugs? Who sent every other nation in the world into Jacob, the people of color's neighborhood, to leech off whatever resources they had circulating in their own neighborhoods? Middle Eastern grocery stores. Chinese restaurant, Korean fruits and veggies, Indian gas station, Chinese beauty supply. And they all take our money in disrespect while they leech off our resources. If it's sports, the Jew-ish agent robs the ball player. If it's music, the Jew-ish lawyer robs the rapper. Then you say everyone else can do it, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. But when Jacob does just that, you get envious and you burn down his buildings like Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1921. Cherokee, Seminole, Blackfoot Indian Hebrew Negroes in Florida with land passed down to them from their ancestors who were here before the European. Thriving businesses among themselves, but you wanted the land, so you burnt down the businesses and hung some of the residents. Removing them from the land, you built overpriced communities that the rightful owners can only dream of buying. This is the little talked about massacre in Ocoee, Florida, November 1920, another one of America's dirty secrets. Now when they want to rebuild, they're refused alone. Who did this? Who did it? Who allowed it? Better yet, who was in power while this was going on and why was the hand of justice spared? So how can you think that you or your seed will escape the justice of the Lord in the end of a cycle with the return of Michael? All these years when the people of color have suffered from your unjust laws or lawlessness, a system you set up, your judicial system, the cries of the many mothers and fathers fell on deaf ears. You turned your backs. Then the mothers and the fathers, having no choice, had to turn to the Lord, not even knowing his rightful name. We called him Jesus. The name was incorrect, but the plea for help was heartfelt, crying as only a black woman could cry. This time justice did not fall on deaf ears in the house of the Lord, nor did it enter into office of Chesed, the left hand of mercy. It entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, vengeance and justice. But timing was the key we had to endure. And now that time is done from the year 2020 and by 2025, 2026, your time of rulership is completely gone. You worship your leaders and politicians, but in these last days, it's every man for himself. There is no leader of this nation. They know the prophecy and are acting accordingly. And you, the regular Caucasian, is oblivious to what is taking place. 
They didn't tell you you violated land laws and took land which is not yours. They didn't tell you at this time you are to go back to the land allotted to you and your father's generation. And if you intended to stay in America, you would have to cleave to Jacob to survive the justice. Yes, him, the same one you scorned. My father has a hell of a sense of humor. They didn't tell you the tree Japheth from which you came will be used as an emissary to bring you back home. They didn't tell you the government is sending all the riches and assets to Ukraine, all their military equipment and moving their gold east. They're leaving you to fend for yourself, Gomer, without even offering you the chance, the free will, the option to change. I'm not your enemy. Even the Gentile Caucasian is my brother and sister. And no matter how wicked a man is, he is to be offered a chance to change and supplicate for his deeds or the deeds of his father. Many things you have heralded and revered as your own is not yours. Some of the people whom you worship, worship even more than the Most High God and the Lord. You call them patriots, founding fathers, conquerors, great men of esteem, most of which did not come from your line of people and don't look like you. It is time for truth. But the wise knows down to my own people of color will be in disbelief of this new information. So I'm no fool to think that the Gentile will be in agreement. But I will leave it here for a time when it is needed and when those of you have found humility, the empathy, and humble yourselves to cleave. All the judges of the old world were of Semitic origin, whether good or bad, and their faces were covered up by the wicked. Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. And I'll leave you with this, Jeremiah 4 and 7. The lion came up from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentile is on his way. He is gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. All praises. I hope they listen. Now, I don't know exactly how or when, you know, I, I know we're in this time right now. And right now I'm on zero. OK, so, you know, any time now, father, any time now, if any time the most High wants to intervene into my life. OK, because this is what has, has happened upon this earth and this land, which is the fourth part of the earth. And you people think that you're going to continue this oppression against us. You have another thing coming. OK, you got another thing coming. Your time's up against the remnant. All right. We are literally the remnant. Okay, we're at the end. This is the end. All right. <laughs> so, you know, um, now we're waiting on the most high to reign on our behalf. Okay, he ain't going to rain down fire and destruction upon nobody. No, they're going to rain down fire and destruction upon themselves. No, what the father is going to rain down is his blessings upon his people. And he's going to raise us up. Okay. Um, he's going to elevate us in the forefront, all right? We're the ones that the people are going to want to listen to because their leaders have been lying to them for freaking centuries, okay? So, um, yeah, bro, I put my trust and faith in the Most High. My trust and faith is not in money. My trust and faith is not in internet. It's not in my leaders. I don't have no leaders. The only leader I have is Yahushua HaMashiach. The good shepherd, okay? The one that said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow. Yeah, him, okay? That's my leader. Now, I'm about to wrap this up. My life has if people don't repent. I mean it, I said it, I meant it. I'm here, I want to repent. You got to repent. And if you, if you don't repent... I'm talking to the people that came, uh, the foreigners, the foreigners on this land, okay? All of you, this was a copper-colored Negro land. The freaking Americas is the fourth part of the earth. It is the land of Shem, okay? It is Shem's land. We are the true Shemites. We are the true 
inhabitants of this land. And you came over here, you raped, robbed, and murdered, you stole our land by force, you murdered us off our land, chased our, our freaking family members out of the damn country, you know, then put us all over the freaking place. Bro, this was straight biblical on the things that you done to us. And you want to ignore that. You want to hide your hands and act like none of this shit ever happened. No, you, you want to freaking go with your freaking European fantasy illusion type shit that you twisted around and going to be like, oh, oh, no, that, 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 that's coming later in the future. The, the beast is coming later. Like, you know, the freaking Antichrist is coming later as if the freaking Roman Catholic Church wasn't the Antichrist himself, bruh. Like, bro, you don't want to go back in real history. You you don't you don't want to see the truth on what really happened. Okay? Your Christianity was built upon lies and blood, okay? Like <laughs> you you have been deceived, all right? You've been deeply freaking deceived. And yet you 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 want to look down upon us like 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 we're ignorant. Well, you go right ahead. You continue to do that. You continue to listen to the people that got to freaking um, consult their leaders. They got to consult their freaking superiors, okay? Men that are over them, all right? I ain't got no man over me. I ain't no man over me. The only power over me is the all power of love and life. And you're about to see very soon that he is with us and not with these people that you didn't put your trust and faith in. They want. They wanted to see Vietnam destroyed, and we were invading them. They wanted to see just Japan destroyed. They dropped the bomb on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Yeah, they did. They dropped. Uh, Trump dropped Moab on the people in Afghanistan. Why should I not want our God to deliver us from the hand of our enemies and all those that hate us? The Bible says in Numbers 35 that the land will not be cleansed of innocent blood unless the blood by them is shed, be shed. We've seen with the Gibeonites when Saul shed the blood, the blood, David didn't do it and David had to deal with it. Yeah, we're we're not supposed to be shedding blood, bruh. But yes, so there's a lot of unanswered blood in this land, bro. There's a lot of unanswered blood in this land. People wonder why they be seeing all kinds of apparitions and ghosts and whatnot. And things going on in certain places upon this earth. Especially here in the Americas. Like, bro, there's a bunch of atrocities that took place that are unanswered. Okay? A lot of things has been buried and swept up under the rug. That's why these apparitions have appeared. That's why, that's why these apparitions are here. That's why you see ghosts and, and, and all of these things. Because this is energy. This is energy. This is energy that was never put to rest. Okay? Like, what the, what the hell do you expect? Like, bruh, no kind of retribution. You ain't put these spirits to rest. Like, wow, bro. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because, like I said, I got a video that I already I need to start compelling. Um, It's entitled, The Righteous Elohim Are Already Amongst Us, okay? The Righteous Elohim Are Already Amongst Us. We are surrounded by the angelic host, bro. No matter what these people think, we're, we're surrounded by the angelic host, all right? So, um, I ain't worried about these people all around me, bro. I ain't worried about nobody, all right? I'm going to continue to be obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And on that note, shalom.